Uh, good morning, everyone. My claim today is about how social media is affecting young people. Um, I'm going to start with the quote. According to Larry Rosen, PhD professor of psychology at California State University, young adults with a strong face the present show signs of antisocial behaviors, mania, and aggressive tendencies. In addition, daily overuse of media and technology has a negative effect on children and teens, making them more prone to anxiety, depression, and other psychological disorders. Um, I find this true. Like, you guys might think it's not like your case, I don't think it's my case either, but like, I, I have siblings and co little cousins and stuff, and sometimes like when we walk into parties or family reunions, um, they're all in their tablets, phones, you know, playing games, Xbox, all that stuff. And, you know, I remember when I was a kid, I would always be like playing and stuff, and today they, like I have my 12 year old cousins add me on Facebook, I'm like, okay, you have a Facebook account, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's like everyone has uh, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, and it's crazy. I, I think it's crazy how they're missing out on the really uh, good stuff in life instead of just like posting really stupid shit on um, their accounts. Uh, when you open a social media account, you are exposed to many like negative comments. There's like a lot of people that create fake profiles to like spread hate and they don't like see that it can have really bad consequences and you might not be like, you might think yourself is like as not that weak to take all that bad, bad stuff but like again like if you think about your siblings or if you have any children I don't know it can affect them. They're so innocent. I don't think they can, like, they don't see the consequences of having uh, those accounts. Bullying can often have painful physical and emotional effects, such as emotional distress, substance abuse, missing work and school, and even suicide. And I found the story of Megan Neer. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. Uh, she was only 13 and battled with depression and weight issues. So, this was, in, this was in 2006 in the MySpace time. So she was, she got a friend request from this guy, uh, this really hot guy. And he was like talking to her and that he wanted to be friends with her. And she was like really excited because he was really hot and cute. And she had already issues. So like one day he was like, okay, I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're, he started posting all this stuff on MySpace like you're fat. You're, uh, you're a slut, uh, the world would be a better place without you. And she hung herself in her closet. And I found this really like sad because, I mean, I've never been a uh, cyber bully, but I feel like it does affect us, not now, but maybe in the future, like if you have kids to be exposed to all those people, it's, I don't know, I really, I was really like, interested in this because of that so mm, yeah I just wanted like to point this out so you guys can like encourage your children to not be so much so on on social media and like more on on their lives Thank you.